Katie here from Bella Creativa and I just wanted to share this little hat box and circular mini album that I have made. So um, yeah, I made the box, it's a little circular box, I've matted it all the way around and on the bottom as well. The paper that I've used is um, this one here, it's a printable paper, um, it's called Shabby Roses and there's 14 um, pages and this is available on my Etsy store. Um, you don't have to use it. I just thought I'd mention that's the paper that I've used. And so I'll just pop that to the side. Um, yeah, so it's got this really pretty florally paper. Um, I've used some um, Kaiser Craft paper flowers on the top and I've just put some um, pink ink on the edges of those and a little bit of Wink of Stella. There's some pearl trim, um, pearl string here, a little bit of seam binding and then this little tag here that says Imagine. And that's it for the um, top of the box. And then you open it up. And inside is the little circular mini album. So I'll just pull that out. Put that to the side. So this is a six page mini album. It's cute. It was really fun to make. I've done the same thing on the front cover here um, with the paper roses, the seam binding, the pearl string. This is a little circular um, frame that I um, used from Cricut Design Space and I've just embossed that with a bit of white embossing powder. And then there's one of these little stick-on um, pearl um, adornments here. I can't, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> um, it's just bound like this and I've just put some um, a paper lace on here which is a die cut. Um, yeah, so that's the cover. Uh, well, all the pages are pocket pages and they have little inserts. So this little insert comes out like this and it's got this little bracket edge, otherwise it's just a circle. And I've just put a bold pin on there with a little flower charm and a little pink bead. So all of the pages have those that then they just insert in the side like that. So it just opens up and it has um, a bottom pocket here and I've done the um, paper flower again and um, this is the little wooden chipboard. It was a wreath and I've just cut it in half and I put a little bit of ink on that and there's a little pearl sticker love heart and then a little tag here that says believe. A bit of paper lace across the bottom with some flat back pearls. So I've done basically the same embellishing all the way through. And then these are the inserts again. So this is the same size as the side inserts. So I've just popped it in here. Um, and I've just put a bit of seam binding on there and hung a little tag off here. There's plenty of room on the front and the back to put a little photo. And then I've just done exactly the same again, but I've just shrunk this down really small, put a little bit of seam binding on there, and then just this little doily cut out, which I thought was cute. Uh, so this is um, a side pocket and in this one I've also put the same two tags, a big one and a small one and then I've also done this little Polaroid here. They're basically what I've done through most of the album. Um, yeah and I've just done that paper lace again and some of those flat back pearls which I've done all the way through. And um, yeah so it's got a little side pocket there and then the little insert that comes out this little insert here that also has a little flower on it so that's that one and then it has a little belly band oh, I don't know where that came from Did it come out of there no okay maybe it came out of here <laughs> this is a little belly band and i've just put some paper lace on here and some flat back pearls and then i've got another two of those little inserts so it's basically the same all the way through. So here I've got a bottom pocket that has the side insert again. Um, here I've just cut out a tag and then I just did um, a stamp on there. Like a, a, so it was supposed to look a bit like a watercolour stamp. And my stamping's not the greatest, but you know, I have fun. <laughs> and then a little Polaroid and then that big um, circular insert again. So all the way through. Um, with the bottom pocket with the... Um, the wooden chipboard, what do they call that? You know, and it's a little wreath and then some of the flowers and love hearts and so it's all the same all the way through. 
this one I've made is six pages um, but you can make it as many pages as you like because it's just as simple as adding on another page it's not difficult at all so it, it has um, belly bands bottom pockets and side pockets and inserts so that is my little circular mini album which fits in my little hat box now I think this would make a fabulous gift I'm just going to slide that back in there and I just wanted to show you also that um, I made this using an SVG file and um, or, which are scalable vector graphic files which you can use for electronic cutting machines and I'll just pop that to the side um, I also used the same files to make this little box here so I have not put anything in this but I just wanted to show you that you can make um, different size boxes using the same SVG files. So this one I shrunk it down, but I also made it taller. So that's a little, um, a little cute little box there. You could put any, anything you like in. Really, I just wanted to show you that you could make different size ones. And this one I actually used the pattern fill that is available in the Cricut Design Space, and I think it looked really nice. And then I just put three little black roses on there with a bit of Winker Stella. I put this little um, bit of um, lace around the edges here and some diamantes and went with the black and white feet. So I think that turned out really nicely. And it is matted inside as well. So that one was nice and easy to make. So I used this uh, SVG files here, hat box and circular mini album. This is the PDF guide that comes with it. Um, so it's got a little bit of information here um, about um, uploading them to um, Cricut and changing the cut lines to score lines. But I've also done a video for that. Um, so I'll try and remember to link that here so that you can have a look and see how easy it is to do. And then on the back here, I've just included what the two files look like. Um, so you can see that it's got all the pieces to make the box, the round um, hat box and also the um, little um, mini album. Yeah, so um, I used this um, set of SVG files and this set of paper to make this um, little circular hat box and mini album. So, and also to make this little one here. Um, and I'm going to start making um, one of these on um, video so you can see how easy it goes together. So anyway, um, thanks very much for having a look at my little hat box. I'm very happy with it. I think it's super cute. Um, I think, yeah, it would make a fabulous gift. Can you imagine getting a little gift like that? You'd just treasure it forever, I think. Especially if that little album was full of photos. I wouldn't think that I'd like to make one like this for my girlfriend, actually, with photos of us together. I I think that would look really, I think she'd love that, she'd keep it. Um, yeah, so anyway, thanks very much for your time today. I hope that you check out the tutorial on um, how I made this, so you perhaps you might want to make your own. All the links are in the description box below. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel so that you can see all of the projects that I have coming up and you can go back and have a look at all the other projects that I've done before. Um, Give me a thumbs up and um, feel free to comment. I always reply to my comments and I really appreciate your time. And uh, I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks very much. Bye.